July is typically filled with barbecues, beach days and nights outside around a fire pit or at the ballpark. However, this year plans have been altered and many have had to run for cover as a record amount of rain has interrupted some plans. One thing is for sure, Mother Nature has been in charge of watering the gardens and lawns has never looked. However, finding the time to cut the grass between rounds of rain has been a challenge. The city has recorded 7.65 rain from July 1st through the 10th, making in the wettest start to July on record. Even though we aren't even halfway through the month, we are already sitting in the fifth spot for the wettest July on record for Boston. There is a good chance we'll continue to move up the ladder as our current pattern is unsettled one. There has only been one day, July 5th, where we did not record measurable rain even though a trace was recorded. There were also several days where the city picked up more than one rain. Most recently, Elsa brought heavy flooding rain to the area with Boston picking up over 2 on the 9th. We saw a rapid rise in some of the areas, small rivers and streams, and several flash flood warning as roadways and underpasses flooded. Basements were tested and some pumps got a workout. You drink with get a break from all the rain. But we've got more rain on the way and flooding rain potentially. There just hasn't been enough time to let things dry out, so with the boundaries setting up across the area Sunday night into Monday and low pressure passing through, a flash flood watch has been issued for a majority of the area. Heavy rain and dumpers were in place overnight in the Monday, leading to street flooding and bonding on the roadways. Some rivers and streams may quickly rise again. I don't expect as much rain to fall as Elsa produced, but some communities may receive one to two of rain with the greatest risk along the MIA-NH border.